What's up YouTube? This is Red Zone 101. Got another video for you. Um, today I'm not going to be using my burner, but my wife's burner. And the reason I'm using her burner is she just got her laser. The uh, it's a Crimson Trace CR CMR, excuse me, dash 201. The Crimson Trace is actually a pretty good laser. They make really good products. Uh, my last video I showed you got some of my supplies in. So I can now do some more videos. I got some more ammo from Berna. <laughs> some more CO2s. And I'm ready to rock. So we're going to take this out to my uh, air gun range. And we're going to try the laser out. I want to see just how well it shoots from the box. I haven't adjusted the sights on this laser. I just attached it to the uh, burner and really simple to uh, attach just look at the directions it's really simple to do that so let's take this out to the range and uh, let's try it out I've got a couple of mags lo loaded up and we're good to go let's see how well this laser does now normally red red lasers don't do that well in the daylight green lasers are normally much better but I'm going to be shooting from about 15 feet, which is room distance. And it was really that's um, where most of your self-defense encounters occur within room distance. Anywhere between 8 to 10, 15 feet maybe. So let's take this out to the range. And we're going to try it out. See how well this thing works. I'm using my cell phone again. Because I don't know what the heck is going on with my GoPro. It's probably me. I can't get it to work on YouTube for some reason. I posted some great videos and had to take them right back down because they weren't working. So again, I'm going to say that's a user error. So let's set this up and take a couple of shots. But here, let me show you the functions for like of the laser. Now. If you push right here on uh, either side, the laser will come on. Let me show you. Push it, and there you can see the laser does show up. Again, in daylight, uh, not that great, but at nighttime, yeah, really, really great. So let's turn it off. Just press again, it turns off, and it really fits nice to your burner, your burner HD. So let's set up the camera and uh, we're going to shoot some, uh, take a couple of test shots. I've got 15 feet that's me measured out. And we have Bob. Bob volunteered again. Not, but I kind of coerced him, so he's going to work with this today. <laughs> anyway, and also I want to shoot at this foam here. Now, last time I showed you, you see where all of the tapes are, the, uh, the blue tape. The burn is going right through this cardboard box with no problem. So anyone saying that the burner doesn't have enough velocity because it's not shooting three or 400 feet uh, per second, uh, I disagree. Um, this going through this cardboard, you see like on the side there when I turned it to the side, uh, that's gonna be devastating on flesh. And that's just the kinetic balls. So we're going to see what it does to this really thick foam here also. I mean, that's really thick foam. Now, I'm not looking for, pe for penetration with the burner. Reason being, this is supposed to be non-lethal. And I hear people talking about it needs more velocity, but you got to be careful with that because uh, there's, well, you got to be careful for this reason. Once you start increasing the velocity, uh, how much, I mean, like, when does it become non-lethal to lethal? Remember, this is a non-lethal means of self-defense. It's not lethal. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a deterrent. Okay? So, I'm not really looking for penetration, although it will penetrate uh, I'm not looking for uh, for penetration. I'm looking for that hard punch. 
that intact. And that's just the kinetic. Put the pepper balls like in here, get a couple of people, uh, hit, uh, hit a, a couple of rounds. <laughs> I'm trying to say this right. If you hit a bad guy with a couple of rounds of the pepper ball, center mass, or in the face, Lord forbid the face, trust me, they're going to have a change of heart. I know I would. So, okay, let's back up again. Enough talking. Let's do some shooting. I'm going to set the camera back here. And hopefully you guys can see this. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn the laser on and we're gonna take some shots. Here we go, 15 feet. Well, it's not dead on, but it is still hitting center mass. I've got the laser pointed directly in the middle there. Let's try some more shots. Here we go. Not bad. A little bit better. Some more mags loaded up. Tell you, they go by quick. Uh, we're gonna shoot at the uh, the hard um, foam there to see just how much harder this thing hits. Um, I'm not expecting a lot of uh, penetration, but let's see. Okay. Now, now that group there wasn't like a firearm. Firearm, you get a much tighter group. And uh, but all of that is hitting center mass. I mean, within I'd say about a good three inches of each other for the most part. Granted, again, not like a firearm, but still, that's more than enough to get the job done. Well, let's try a couple more, a couple more rounds. Just one more mag, and we'll take a look up close in just a minute. Okay. Yep, five rounds. Here we go. Okay, let's do it. Let's try this again. One for Bob. Go. Okay, let's get up close and, and let's take a look, okay? Bear with me. Not the greatest cameraman here. Okay, let's look at Bob first. That's at 15 feet. And if I put my hand up, again, not as accurate as a firearm, but wow. That's not bad. You're definitely going to hit your target. You're going to hit with center mass. Maybe, maybe uh, even a headshot with that. Now, as far as the foam, this is what we got here. This is, when I say this is really thick foam, this is really, 
thick foam. I'm really trying to put my thumb in it here. That's how thick that foam is. Those rounds are embedded in this foam. That's impressive. This here, that's from my probably my, how many mags did I shoot? Four or five? That's probably from my fifth mag. It didn't penetrate deep inside of it, but at the same time, it made a mark. Made a serious mark. So again, the laser, not bad. Would I get one? I'm definitely considering it. This is my wife's, but I am considering getting the laser. Uh, if for no other reason, just the intimidation factor. Um, and granted, it does help you to get on tar target faster. I mean, I'm good with sights, but you know, that laser, you just point and shoot and you know you're gonna hit uh, with center mass. Um, and the other good thing about the laser is the intimidation factor. When a person sees that laser hit them, you know, it takes you back to old movies you've seen where, you know, uh, the police would, snipers would put a laser like on someone or whatever, and that bad guy knew, I'm in trouble. Because where that laser's pointing, that's probably where that round is gonna hit. So, again, that's one of the main reasons why that I would get it. Just the intimidation factor. You might not even have to pull like the trigger. Unless somebody sees that laser on them. And granted, these do look like firearms. Even though they're not. They're, it's a CO2 launcher. But um, just for the intimidation factor, I would get it. That and just the quick sight acquisition. So anyway, that is the Berna HD laser. And uh, hey, might be something to consider. Um, I normally can put rounds a lot closer to that, but that's what I was getting. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That's that. Um, anyway, again, this is Red Zone 101. I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys and gals be safe out there. Hopefully this helped. God bless. Peace. I know I wouldn't want to get hit with that. You guys take care.